when you think about working out, we don't talk much about balance. And as we age, what do we lose? Again, I'll be 65 in a couple months, but when you think about working out, it's balance, it's mobility, it's flexibility and strength. And I always tell people that balance and strength go hand in hand. So real quickly, what we're gonna talk a little bit about today is in my new book, Rusty Move. Also on the back of our food target is dynamic warm up and foundation. So if you're looking for this, this is right on our website and some of the balance exercises we're gonna jump into. So again, check that out on our website, ontarioliving.com. So with that being said, When you think about balance, what is it? And really what we're gonna get into today is we're gonna talk about proprioception. What proprioception is, is your body's awareness in space. You have proprioceptors in your eyes. That's why when you move your head, you close your eyes, ears, you have them in your hands, your fingers, and you have them in your feet. And again, as time goes on, if we don't use those proprioceptors, that sensory for the body, we kind of lose them, especially with injuries. So again, when person, uh, sprains their ankle, they might have an ankle sprain again because their proprioception their proprioception's weak. So again, when you think about this today, I'm going to give you some really simple balance exercises that you can incorporate in your current workout. And I want to begin with some really simple stuff. Now, if you feel like your balance is a little more challenged, you can put your hands against the wall, you can hold on to something. So again, number one r- rule, we don't fall. So this is such a simple exercise, and it's called a straight-legged lunge. Now, to add a little bit more balance, I'm in my bare feet. So again, one of the things that helps sometimes when you look at challenging this, I'll just do some of these exercises in my bare feet. So again, my back leg is straight, and this is just a simple straight-legged lunge. I can elevate up here, but my feet are working hard now to keep me there. Also, when my head moves around, it actually channels me more. And then from here, this is really simple, we come up, And this is called warrior three. This is just a basic balance pose right here, a yoga pose. Then from here, I'm going to challenge myself a little bit more. I'm going to reach up with my right hand into half moon. So again, this is going to quiet my mind and relax the body. So again, straight legged lunge into warrior three. Now, also when you think about dynamic warm up, when you're warming up, this is just a simple getting my hamstrings loosened up. But if I want to make this harder, what would I do? So again, this is pretty simple. I would just stand on my left leg, and now I'm going to bend my knee, and my leg is straight. So these are just a leg swing that really channels my foot. i got 26 bones in my foot, so now we're doing some strength training. And then if I took my legs out to the side... And again, my eyes are focused right on a point because if I start moving my eyes around, it's going to make the movement more challenging. So you don't need some type of apparatus to make this movement more challenging. So again, really simple things along the way to help you with that. All right, so from here, I'm going to add a couple more. And the next one is, it's called a half moon. So we just did a half moon standing out in space. This is a half moon that we're actually adding against the wall. So now if you're having trouble with that one, you can come over here, and this is just a half moon against the wall. Now if I wanna make this more challenging, from a balance standpoint, I'm gonna move my foot closer to the wall. And so now I kinda really have to be vertical here, and now this is gonna really challenge my balance. And I'm trying to take my rear end close to the wall, now it opens up my core. And again, I'm gonna slide over here So again, just some really simple exercises to help challenge your balance. And the other one I really like a lot is called dancer. So all I do with dancer is I stand on one leg, I grab my ankle, and all I do is I tilt forward and try to take my heel away from my rear end. So this stretches out my hip flexor, stretches out my quad, stretches out my hamstring, but it really challenges my balance. Now, if I slide over to the other side, generally people have a little bit more challenge on one side or the other. If you're right-handed, you're probably going to have more balance on your left side. So for me, my right foot, quit talking here and focus. So again, a dancer is really simple. So these are just some basic dynamic warm-up foundation movements that can challenge your balance. 
All right, so how do you incorporate, the, incorporate this into a workout? So imagine when you're thinking about strength training, let's just use lower body, for example. Instead of loading up the weight, why don't we add a little bit more balance? So now this is just a simple step up, but this pad is soft. So as I come up, now my feet are challenged, my mind is focused, and one of the greatest benefits of working on your balance is it quiets the mind. And again, if I switch sides, the right side's gonna be a little more challenging than the left. So now again, we're into strength training and balance, and they work directly related. So when you think about doing your strength workout, bring that in play. Now, if I said, okay, how do I challenge myself lower body? Well, anytime your foot or your hand is attached to something, that's called a closed chain exercise. You're adding more proprioception. So as simple as doing a push-up, and my feet are a little bit narrow, this is working balance in my wrist, my shoulders, my elbows, and again, when I do a push-up, I'm adding that per perception. Now, if I want to add a little more balance to it, or a little bit more challenge core-wise, I can take the leg up. If I decide, hey, I want to do a, a squat and add a little bit more balance, try this in your bare feet. Now I'm just going to add the, the pad, and now my feet are actually getting engaged. So again, not a lot of resistance here, more range of motion, but challenging my feet. Or if you said, hey, we talked about this before, but maybe I'm going to do a step back into this soft pad. So again, instead of loading up the weight, think about how we can challenge your balance. All right, one of my favorite things to do here is work the feet. And all I, you can get anything. You can get a pillow, you can get anything. And I just touch my toes here. So I have quite a few clients that have neuropathy. And all we're doing is working on the balance. But now we just add a little speed to it. So now I have to unweight, but I have to work on my balance. And then we can go in the other direction. So these are some simple things to incorporate in your workout. All right, last thing I'm going to share with you. We can go on and on about this. But the mini trampoline. Why do I love it? Because it works on my balance. It works on my lymphatic system. And so again, I can just be simple here. This has a, a bar here if you want to hold on and not fall. But now I'm going to start working on my balance. And again, when I'm working on my balance, it quiets my mind and relaxes the body. So I just go back and forth here. So if you're having a challenging day, start bringing more balance into your workout. And the last one is I'm just going to run in place, but again, I'm still challenging my balance. Works my core, my lymphatic system, heart rate's going up, feet are engaged. So next time you're starting to put your workout together, throw a little balance in the, in the game. Remember, you have the power to feel your best. We'll see you next time.